Serbia versus England. England minus 215. Serbia plus 670. England probably the number one or number two ranked side when it comes to attacking talent. But they're probably out of the 20-odd teams, 24 teams. They're probably at 18 for defence. Serbia, a minus 135 to score. England to score twice is heavy. Odds on, minus 170. But it's the first game of the group, Paco. Everyone says about England, it's coming home. But I tell you what, they've got to keep that back door closed because Serbia are Serbia. Or they could have it both ways. And they would surely serve my interest in this case. Because, um, you know, looking for value in, in this game, uh, I consider England one of the favourites of the, of the tournament for everything that you just stated and listed down. They got Harry Kane, they got Bellingham. I don't know why people don't rate Bellingham <laughs> higher. I'm, you know, mind-blown about doesn't? this. Because He's Ballon d'Or, I don't know. He, he, There's only Vinny Jr. He should be Ballon d'Or. Yeah. Isn't he yeah, the, 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 like candidate? Yeah, I think he's going to be candidate, but I, I think that all of the press and the PR stunts are going to benefit other players. But I think Bellingham carried on his own Real Madrid for, I would say, 50% of the season on his own by scoring a mind-blowing amount of goals when he isn't really a goal scorer. You know, that was the biggest surprise whenever when he came here to, to Spain. So his season has been mad. He's, he's in absolute greatness uh, through and through. But again, you know, taking advantage of Harry Kane, we spoke about this last week, uh, being the one where all of the defenders are focused upon him. Bellingham can take advantage of the spaces generated. The rest of the attacking front can take advantage of the spaces generated. And as Flash said only a sec few seconds ago, main issues over in England are at the back. So we can have it both ways and think that this game is going to be dominated and won by England and they are going to concede one goal. So England both need to score. Um, yeah, I think that that is you know I, 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 as 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 uh, the moment I saw this game, it was the only chance to of of in my view you know uh, people might think otherwise, but um, I, I see them very favourites against Serbia, who are a very rough side. They are a very passionate side. They have very talented players too. But again, you know. England are far too good from midfield onward, and that main difference is going to be shown. So I expect goals in this in this game. I think I could have gone, for example, a plus two point five, maybe. I don't know, but uh, yeah, England and both teams to score too tasty for me to to let it pass. Tell you what, for a big hitter, England at minus 215 will also be a really good price. Before I go to Mina, though, uh, Pavlos says, uh, Kobe Mainu, young player of the tournament, at plus 3,300 with BetUS, you can have plus 6,600 with me because they're telling me that uh, Trent Alexander-Arnold will play in that holding role with Declan Rice. Um, Mina, Serbia, minus 135 to score. So it's basically they're going to score maybe 60% of the time. But England... Do they get off to a winning start? And I tell you what, I don't fancy the clean sheet. No, I actually, I didn't have a pick in this, but I was looking at this and I well, thought, me. I, I'm an idiot for not having done this because all I can tell you for sure is that there's going to be goals in the first half. So that's where I see this going. Now, Serbia is like what Paco said. It's a, it's a top-heavy team, right? It's got so much talent. Um, it also has quite a lot of talent in midfield. Um, Savancic, I think, is people are sleeping on him, but he's one of the best midfielders that they have. Obviously, Milinkovic Savage, that we know that you know when Lazio lost him, they lost pretty much everything. I know a lot of mm. the Serbian team because they play in Italy, right? Then you've got Dusan Vlaovic up front. Obviously, Mitrovic is probably going to start there. Um, and it, there is talent, especially going forward. My issue with them is that they're tactically like naive, and Stojkovic has, has come under criticism for that specific thing, um, been told that he earns far too much money as coach and, and not doing enough for the <laughs> Serbian team, which I think has been hilarious. But they didn't, you know, they qualified second in their group. It wasn't easy going for them. This is the issue that I have with them is that sometimes, you know, they're a team that either scores five goals or concedes five. There's just not very much balance within the side. And I hate teams that scare me at the back and Serbia scare me a lot at the back. Now, this is where it gets interesting because exactly like you both said, England has problems at the back as well, right? You don't look at this defence and think to yourself, oh, this is a defence that's going to be hard to, to, to get through. You just think you're, you fancy your chances to score against England. So here's the thing. If England want to win this, then they've got to start strong. They've got to show courage and make sure that you actually expose Serbia's weakness in defence. So push them as far back as possible and make them defend. Then you can score quickly. 
On the other hand, if Serbia can start off this match showing all the confidence in the world and they're the ones that are attacking them, I think they can also score quickly as well. So I would actually like to take a live, live bet and say that this is going to be a first half in which there's going to be goals in there. Um, it's exactly what Gineppi just said. Neither of these sides do I trust defensively speaking. But I do trust the midfield. Um, and I think England's is a better one. And so this is where you're going to need to work a lot harder. There's been question marks of Bellingham and his stamina. But actually, if you notice how he plays for Real Madrid, he covers so much ground, right? He box works box. so hard. And I can't believe that people actually sit there and say, yeah, but where's the stamina? Look at the way that they're playing football. Look at how much he has to sacrifice to make sure that he's in the right position or always helping out. I think that he's been tremendous. I, I certainly think that he's one of the shining lights of this Italian side, of, sorry, Italian, of this English side. Sorry, wrong country. Um, but I also love Foden, right? For me, he is very much the player that I'm desperate to watch. Um, his attacking ability going forward, the direct threat that he poses, the intelligence of his game. So the only thing that I also worry about with England is that they lack a little bit of pace, right? So this is where sometimes I, I'm worried about them. Um, but certainly the better team between these two sides, certainly the team that are my favourites to win, to win this particular match. I don't know how far they can get because I do think defence wins you championships and I'm not entirely sure I'm confident of their defence. But either you look at this as both teams, but I think that if England start off really quickly, they'll score a lot of goals. So I don't know which way to go with this except to tell you that in the first half we'll have a lot of goals. Well, look, the, the whole game is set at two and a half. I see over two and a half goals in this game. I see both teams scoring an over as well. I do well. think they'll that... correct in the second. I think there'll be more of a correction in the second. Yeah, again, you just don't know how England are going to set up and are they going to actually go for it? Because if you're looking at them three behind Kane of being Foden, Bellingham and Saka, they're all front foot players. And if you've got then an insurance yeah. policy, in, oh, I wouldn't go with Alexander-Arnold because he doesn't track. He doesn't see danger. And no, that means he uh, Rice is going to get exposed. Then you look, you've got a right back at left back. Um, uh, yeah, I see goals in this game. There was a, So you're looking at basically the market being around one, so over one, one goal gets you a push. So that may be uh, a bet to nothing as well. Let's have a little look at the official picks because although Mina's just added that, uh, we both left this game alone because mm. I have actually got, I've gone with a parlay of um, the This is a good one, England, England and both teams to score. England and both teams to score, plus 250. Uh, again, you just need England to get off to the right start. But again, they have got frailties. And Serbia, by the way, this could be a cards game. So look out for that because Serbia will definitely get wide yeah. in and England have got very very competitive players